Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Stable Diffusion Image to Image on AMD GPU and Windows operating system. I'm super excited about the video because this is kind of what everyone's been waiting for in the AMD world. For those interested, here is some background story about this. So about a month ago on September 18th, uh, this person named Z Ladders, he actually came up with a solution for image to image uh, using Onyx, which means we can run it on AMD. And it wasn't until October 18th, so exactly one month later, the official diffusers team finally approved and accepted his code changes. And now you can use the latest diffusers library to do image to image on AMD card. So a big thank you to Zelados and everyone in the Hugging Face diffusers library team. All right, so let's get started. First of all, we need to install the Python programming language and you can find the installation file on the official website, python.org. You can just go to downloads and then windows. I'm assuming that's what you're using. Otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. So you can download any recent version from version 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, all the way to 3.10. The latest Python version right now is 3.11. I wouldn't recommend using 3.11 because that's the latest version and it's bound to have compatibility issues with some of the software or libraries out there. So just use any one between 3.7 to 3.10, you will be good. I'm not going to show how to install Python here because it's rather straightforward, but I want to point out that once you open up the installer, you have to check this add Python 3. Point whatever version you pick to pass. If you don't click on this, then you're going to have a lot of headaches later on. So just remember to check this. So the next program we need to install is called Git. And Git is a version control software that pretty much every programmer on earth uses. So just come to the site and download, then install it. The Git installer wizard will have a lot of options, a lot of questions for you. And you can just click on next and go with all the default settings and you will be fine. And we also need to install this Onyx nightly build so this is essentially a python library and you see there are four files 3a 37 39 310 depending on the python version you installed you should pick the matching version for the onyx file so let's say if you have installed python 3.9 then you should download this file next step let's start the installation i created a empty folder inside this folder you want to press down and hold the shift key on your keyboard and then right click anywhere inside this folder and that will bring up this menu here and you can select open powershell window here so this is going to open the powershell inside this window see how this is pointing to this folder here the first thing that you want to do is creating a python virtual environment so python dash mvm and i'm going to call this diffusers vm once you have the virtual environment created you want to activate it you don't have to change the folder you just need to specify which file you want to run so on the powershell it's going to be dot and dot forward slash diffusers vm which is the virtual environment folder name and then scripts activate this command activated the diffusers virtual environment and now we can install libraries safely in this virtual environment and the first thing we want to get is the diffusers library go to this github repository and and copy the url and inside here you want to type git clone and paste that url here so basically this is going to download the whole code base from the github website to your local folder and the reason that we download the diffusers library this way instead of using the pip install way is because for pip install you won't always get the latest version whereas if you download the code base from here later on you can easily refresh your local repository to get all the latest changes so once you download this and you want to navigate to the diffusers folder on the command prompt so cd into diffusers and then type pip install space dash e dot install. So this is going to install the diffusers library, but using whatever code that's inside this folder that we just downloaded. And after that, we're going to install a couple of libraries. So pip install transformers, scipy, ftfy, onyx, onyx runtime, torch. I think that's all. So let's install these for now. And if we need anything else, we will be adding them later on. Don't worry about all these libraries names. I will leave all the command that you need to type in the video description below. So one thing I want to point out is that right now we're installing the Onyx 
library, which is the latest stable version for the Onyx library. And we're not installing this nightly build yet. Next step. We need to log in to Hugging Face, which is this website here, huggingface.co. If you don't have an account yet, go register one. It's free to register. Once you register this account, you can simply just click on this Hugging Face logo here to take you to the home page. And on the home page, you will most likely see the Stable Diffusion repository here because it's, of course, trending right now. If you don't see this, you can also search inside here, just type stable and stable diffusion should come up. So go into here. If this is your first time accessing this repository, then if you scroll down, you will see that this agreement that you have to check this box. I have read license and agree with the terms. If you don't check this and say that you agree, you won't be able to see the content of this repository. And so just make sure you check this box and then hit this agree the terms button. And once you do that, you will have full access to stable diffusion models. We also need to get a access token. So to do that, just click on this your user profile and come to here settings and then access token. So if you haven't confirmed your email yet, this is the time to confirm your email. You should see this email from Hugging Face asking you to confirm the email address and just click on this to confirm. So now go back to the Hugging Face site and click on this access token again. So now we're able to generate a new access token. Click on that. I'm gonna just call it AMD VM. It doesn't matter what role you set, read or write, it doesn't matter. Generate the token. So now we have a token. You don't have to show it. Just click on this here to copy the token. So I have this copied. Now we should be able to type this command again base dash CLI login. And then you should see this Hugging Face logo here. This is going to ask you to input the token that we just copied. And this is where it gets tricky and a lot of people have problem trying to log in on this page. So basically what you do is you don't want to press Control and V to copy because that's not going to work. Instead of doing that, just don't type anything. Don't touch your keyboard for a minute and use your mouse. Make sure that you have this window as active window and just right click right click somewhere here it doesn't matter where you click as long as you right click for example i'm gonna right click into here so i just did a right click and after that just press enter and this should get you login so you should see this message here saying login successful basically when you right click that's gonna paste the token that we copied and if you do a Control plus V, that's not going to work on this window here. If you're watching this, hopefully this trick will get you log in on this window. Now we should be able to access all the data, all the model in the um, stable diffusion repository. All right, so now let's download the model and also convert the models, the checkpoint files into Onyx files. I am now inside the diffusers folder. So this is the folder that I am in on the command line. And what you want to type is Python scripts. So I am trying to access a file inside this folder. And the file name is this convert stable diffusion checkpoint to onyx.py. Here you also need to pass in two arguments. The first one is dash dash model path. Depends on what model you're trying to get. Let's say you're just trying to get the regular Stable Diffusion 1.4 version. You can just copy this and then paste it here. Quote, and then you want to pass in another argument, dash dash output path. So this is where you want to save the Onyx files. All right. In my case, I'm just going to put it inside this folder in the Onyx folder. All right, so now hit enter. So now the program is downloading the stable diffusion model weights and also converting them into Onyx files. This step is going to take some time. So I'll be back once this is done. All right. So after a couple minutes, this is done and you're probably going to see a lot of these warning messages. That's okay. As long as you see the message Onyx pipeline saved to this location and then uh, the pipeline is loadable, then it means you're good. If we go to the folders, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now you should have a Onyx folder inside uh, this folder that you have. And this one is about five gigabytes, I think. Yeah, 5.1 gigabytes. So basically these are the stable diffusion models, but converted into Onyx files. These files are what we need to use in order to run the stable diffusion. Before we run anything, we need to make a change here. So 
remember we were using this onyx library right so we need to use the regular onyx library when we're trying to convert the model weights into onyx files but when we run the stable diffusion we cannot use the regular onyx library that's going to crash your computer trust me i tried this many times and each time i try my computer will just shut down so what we need to do is now if you type pip list this is going to show all the python libraries that we have installed we have onyx 1.12 and then we also have onyx runtime we want to keep the onyx runtime but we will be getting rid of or we will be deleting the onyx library and to do that type pip uninstall onyx and just and then type yes to proceed right so now we need to install this onyx nightly build library this is here so i'm just going to move this library into the demo folder so it's easier and now if you type the dir we should see this wheel file here so a wheel file is basically a python library now we can pip install and just paste the library name note that you need to also include this dot whl at the end actually i'm gonna reinstall this so it's the same command but after that type space dash dash force dash reinstall this is going to remove some of the dependency libraries and then reinstall them so don't ask me why sometimes if you don't do the force reinstall you will run into problems all right so that's done this officially concludes all the setup we need to do for the amd card let's just do a quick test we're going to run the text to image first I'm going to put the link to this code in the video description below. So this is just importing the Onyx Stable Diffusion Pipeline from the Diffuser library. And this is our prompt, uh, the inference steps. And here we're just creating a pipeline. So this, the first argument here, this will be the folder that we created when we run the first script. In other words, it will be this Onyx folder. So just grab this full path and put it in here you want to give the file a name for this example i'm going to call it t2i text to image.png and i just saved the file and i'm going to run this in the command prompt so that would be python t2i.py which is this file here i'm trying to run this file and press enter to run so up to this point, as you can see, we see a progress bar. And this means you have probably installed everything successfully up to this point. Just wait for a few minutes and you'll get an image. I am using a RX 580, which has 8 gigabytes of video RAM. And it's actually quite slow. So it takes about 5 seconds per step, as you can see here. So for 26 steps, you can just times that by five and i think that's roughly two and a half minutes after two and a half minutes we'll be able to see a image inside this folder and then the image should be named as t2i so now the run is done and let's go back to the folder we see this t2i.png file open it up so yeah this is uh the text to image stable diffusion and it looks like it's working next step we'll be trying the image to image this will be the code for image to image. We're going to be using this input image. This is apparently a masterpiece fantasy landscape. And let's see if we can feed this initial image into stable diffusion and then get something else, all right? I'll also be putting the link to this code in the description below. The good thing about here is you can actually specify the size of your image. If you make this one to 768 by 768, then I think your resulting image will also also be 768 this is very good because if you follow my other amd stable diffusion installation then for that one if you want to get a different size for the image then you have to run two scripts you basically have to re-download the onyx files first and then you can run with a different size whereas for this one you just need to specify a different size and then you will be able to get exactly just that size this is also where the onyx files should be saved at so let me just grab that folder path the full folder path i'm going to paste it in here this is the folder that stores all the onyx files now let's try to run this and it'll be python space 
i to i dot pi okay so seems like we got some error here and it's basically saying we couldn't connect to hugging face dot co to load the model and it looks like this here see i okay so i see where, where the problem is now if we go back to the code because this is a folder path on a windows operating system we need to put an R in front of the string. If we don't put the R uh, to convert this into a raw string, then all these backslashes are going to cause problems. So as long as we put an R in front, then it's going to solve it. And put an R here and save the file, go back to command prompt or PowerShell and run this. So it looks like it's running. As soon as we can see a progress bar showing up here, then it means that we are running it. But this one will take longer than the text to image because first of all, this is image to image. Second, uh, we are using a higher resolution. I'm going to come back when this is done. All right, so the image to image run just completed and that took over seven minutes. Let's take a look at the results. All right, so this is our out2.png file that's created by the image to image. Let's take a look. Well, I don't know what's going on here. It's really weird. So it may be the resolution problem. Let me just change that resolution back. This is going to be 512 to begin with. I just saved the file and then let me rerun this. Okay, this other run just completed. Let's see what kind of image we got. All right, so this time it looks a bit more normal than before. Um, I don't know what's going on there. So it seems like if we change the resolution to, for example, from a rectangle to a square, um, that might mess things up. Okay, so here you go. This is the input image, and then this is the output image from image to image on AMD and Windows operating system. That is all for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.